He's a little chilly. A little, little, little chilly. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Spirit Forest. We, uh, this is another cabin video and we are talking about merging my two properties together. We are at Spirit Forest and I am sitting right next to one of my little um, little trees that I grew and I started out like this big and felt it. this was kind of a cool area just to sit and, and look around and talk to you instead of being in my office. <laughs> I'm done with the office videos. <laughs> So um, while I was out here, I was like, I'll just record this video here, and if I need to show you some things, um, I'll just stick those um, pictures in there. But again, what I'd like to talk about is merging my two properties together, because that was part of building my cabin, and it was a, a pretty big process, and it was something that I almost forgot because it was so long ago that I did this. If you've been following my journey, you know that I bought one acre. It was like 1.1 or something like that um, when I first got here. So if you watch my videos from the very beginning, you'll know I bought one acre. And I was like, this is huge. <laughs> oh my gosh, because I'm from the city, you know, and I've lived in the city the majority of my life. Yes, I'm a backpacker and I love being outdoors, but... I have been in the city for so long that I am just not used to all this space. Well, I got used to it right away. <laughs> and then I was like, you know what? I think I want another acre. So I called the owner. Oh no, I sent him a, I sent him a, um, a nice letter. And I said, I would really like to purchase your acre if you don't have any plans with it. And um, that this uh, it doesn't matter what side I point at really, but it's over there. So I am on the acre that I first um, bought, and then I bought the new acre. And he ended up selling it to me. I got a great deal because we w we didn't use any realtors or anything like that. And then I was like, I'm like, this is so big. <laughs> And then, uh, you know, I looked to buy a third acre as well. Um, but anyways, um, what I wanted to build a house on it. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm on my journey of building a cabin on my land. And so that second acre is going to be the majority of the cabin is what it is. So that means that this acre that I'm on right now is mostly my tent. And so I have my tent acre and I have my cabin acre. So as I was designing the house and trying to figure out the layout and, and all of that and talking with the architect, then I came out here with the architect and the builder, um, not the same time, separate times. And the builder came and he's like, you know, you're really going to have to merge these pieces of land together because if we have the driveway coming down and through, you can't go through two acres to do that. So again, there's a lot of laws here. In order to build, you have to merge the acres together because I can't sell the acres individually if my driveway is coming from one acre to another acre. That makes sense though, right? That totally makes sense. And I have to have a 10 foot easement around my property, 10 feet. So by the time I put my house on the property and possibly a garage, maybe in the future, who knows, I'm, I'm, I'm debating on that currently right now, and um, leach field and septic and all of that, I don't have enough room. I know it sounds really weird, but I don't have enough room. And I have to, um, my, my acres are um, long. They're very, um, in, individually, they're very um, they're like a long rectangle. And so I have to basically have to merge the acres together. I knew nothing about merging acres together. <laughs> nothing. I went online. Um, I could have had the builder do a lot of it, but honestly, he was kind of like, this is something you got to do. So I'm just letting you guys know because it was a process and I almost forgot to tell you about it um, because it took four no five maybe five months to merge my my acres together not kidding you so some of the things that you have to do to merge your acres together is you got to have your a title company and then you have to contact 
the, I had to contact the phone company, even though I don't have any phone service here. Um, I had to contact the phone company and also contact the, um, the power company, even though I didn't have any power here. I had to get their permission in order to merge my acres together. Because again, I have this easement. Um, so they have to make sure that between my two acres, um, if you remember, I put power in. Do you remember I went through the easement to get the power to my land? So really the last thing I want someone to do is use my easement right through my property here. <laughs> you know what I mean? That would, that would really be bad. Um, so I had it, I, and then I also had to get a uh, land surveyor um, out here too. And turns out there's only a few of them <laughs> in this area. And like, and I, I try to get as much priced as possible. And I'll tell you, like the pricing for a surveyor is all over the board. Um, I got a price from $5,000. Yes, $5,000 for someone to come here and stake the land, <laughs> put sticks in the land and uh, make sure that, yeah, anyways. And then I got a quote for $700. I'm guessing you already know which one I chose. <laughs> but the $700 one doesn't have, I don't even know if he answers his phone. Yeah, he did. He did answer his phone. Um, he doesn't have email. Uh, sometimes, I guess, would answer the phone. Just, I'm just letting you know that like, he's very old school. And I had to drive two hours in order to get my... Mylar is what it was. You had to get it. You couldn't get it, it um, staked out and drawn on because I have to get it drawn again. And I'll, maybe I'll show you some pictures here. Um, but I did have to get it drawn again. And it had to be on Mylar paper. It had to be on a particular type of paper. It could not be on just regular white paper. It had to be a special paper. And, um, it, and there was the uh, three errors that happened. <laughs> um, that, that he did, and I've had to constantly go back and change it and correct it. And then I had to meet with the title company. I think I ended up taking like five days off work just to merge these properties together. Um, but I do want to let you know that that was part of the process that I had to do. And so now I have um, a two acre lot instead of um, two one acre lots. And in fact, it's a little bit more than, than, two, than two acres. Um, but again, all part of the process, fun, fun, I know. <laughs> but I wanted to include it with you guys in case you were looking to build and you had multiple acres and you were thinking that you could just build on it and everything would be fine. No, you actually have to merge them together or else you could possibly have someone bring power through the middle of your properties. And you, you really don't want to do that. So um, also, um, because I've told you about all the laws here in um, my area and, and a lot of Colorado, um, they have a lot of new camping laws. So if I were to keep my tent on my tent acre without merging the two properties together, I would only be able to stay at my property, uh, I think it's a maximum of four weeks. I would only be able to, to have my tent up for four weeks. Now that I've merged my properties together, I can keep my tent up year round. I can't. Yeah, I'm paying taxes for it. <laughs> That's just how that works. But um, yeah, I can, I can put a shed here. I can build a little tiny, I can build a little tiny cabin on my deck and, and when my canvas tent is done. Like there's a lot of things that I can do because I've merged the properties together. Yay. Okay, so. Again, these are a series of videos that I'm doing, um, and I'm doing it for YouTube, also doing it for me, so I can remember what this process was like at building my cabin, but I invite you to watch the whole playlist. Um, I talk about um, designing the cabin, I talk about um, the well and the septic and the leach fields and, you know, getting everything all ready when you're out here and you're remote. Um, it's, it's been a journey so far and I have a lot more to go. So I hope you join me and uh, I will see you on the next video. Bye-bye.